Welcome to Zen Gaming. I'm Zen. If you're just joining us, we are roughly halfway into Chapter 4 and about to start tracking down the Crooked Man. Uh, no big spoilers from the first half thus far. Uh, it's dirty. No, it's not. Looks like you toad. slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Ten, the donkey skin girl's toad. You take purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Whoa. Bigby's here. Uh, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be Nobody's gonna buy it. I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. Yeah. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> yes, I right think the thing? off-sighted statute of finders keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, <laughs> since this whole bleeding operation so just a set up for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, og fray. I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? No, you fool. I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right, mm -hmm. Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Well, then you're on your own. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. No need to put really salt in the wound. Look, told you I work here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the Crooked Man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. Mm -hmm. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Bullshit. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? 
collect. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad That's from happens. Ichabod's apartment. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Bad stuff. You mean he kills him? Or worse. Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery, took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to a litter of alley cats. Good lord. At least, that's what I heard. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop. What's just so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho, and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But I can call you when he comes back, alright? Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Well, that's a lot of shit. Um, okay. Just my luck. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Weird oh, question. Okay, then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? I don't know what any of this stuff is. He didn't like me looking over there. Yep, Axe was there. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... <laughs> You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That the wasn't... Axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. No, I mean, no. it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is, is his ex even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. A lot of attitude. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning... Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures. 
He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers. And Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? It's gonna be a big fight. Watch. Oh, dipshit. You're gonna... You piece of shit. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? <laughs> That's it? You mm. talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oof. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna... You fucking... Oh, motherfucker! Ah, come on! This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Okay. Is still there? Go on, try to stop me. Fucking stay down. There she is. I'm out already. He's gonna kill him and we didn't even get any answers at all. So why was the axe still there? No, we need to know something. What are you doing? So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. 
Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. What did you hear? It got broken. Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. No. We're no. like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Okay. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. Will Mary be there? You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. It wasn't too bad of a fight. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Hmm. So apparently Crooked Man is behind the killings, but we just don't know how or why. having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You bring them back? Get the fucker who did it. No. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. So is he out of the story then? So now we gotta go to the butcher shop, possibly fight Bloody Mary. Listen to the rules of this criminal's place. Okay. Nothing special. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers. It doesn't give a he shit. Doesn't have any. Yeah. Right.
It's all moldy. Sound very appetizing. Frozen solid. Let's really frozen. eat this. I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? Mm -hmm. B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh... The Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. It's the alarm. Hold on. Come on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be Here right back. Here comes Bloody Mary, oh, then. I just have to go see. Gotcha. Covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Okay. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on mm -hmm. out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Just give me the magic mirror shard and I'll leave you alone. And you can go back to whatever it is you're doing here. Trying to get away with. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. How you doing? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. He's gotta Stop know we mean business. Up. What the fuck are you hiding back there? You, you, you're a monster, a fucking monster. You're working you with doing killers, this? like I'm not part of their crew. Fuck the crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be... Shh. Okay, so there's no point listening. Why even make that an option? <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, so they left. You sent the alarm. Yeah, see, I run. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. No oh, shit. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. All right, Johan, do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So that, that Auntie Greenleaf, whatever it was. Maybe she wasn't so making these things. This was delivery. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. <laughs> yeah. Did not get the one back there. No, they did. Lame. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain gotcha. this? Gotcha. So that's why he uses it as his uh, trademark. He identifies with it. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains. Who's getting chained yeah, up? Why here? would they have to do that? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. A lot of weird stuff. What the hell is that? The snow's bloody coat, maybe? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. Oh. Seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Yeah, he was watching. He'd be a thief. That sick piece of... He kept the picture? Come on. There it shard. is. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. 
And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really You weren't gonna talk. The big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives? Don't play innocent with me, Butcher. You screwed with me up front. Yeah. Don't cry foul, cause you got it in the end. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. I mean, that's the whole point. So let's get that mirror put back together so we can find this guy in this story. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. No You've shit. Got a lot to answer for. Oh really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? What do you need help with? You did all of that all on your own. Now you got one piece and you can't handle it. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why'd you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved. And I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you, of all people, can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Doesn't look like it would fit. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she has... Ah, some... yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like oh, it if she tried yeah. to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Ironic. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? 
you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oof. Toad, come here. That I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I already offered it to you. About it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pond, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Look, Crane left us in the lurch here. Just can't be handing out cash unless it's something, you know, urgent. I wish I could help. But... Me and my boy mm -hmm. getting shipped off to the farm is pretty it's bloody It's kind of insulting. Me. Yeah. That's why I was trying to sell the bloody coat. And Jack was getting ready to crack until you showed up and ruined it. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah. You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. Oh, I see I've given you something to think about. Now yep. let me add another log to that fire. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest of what We don't have it. And Snow said he's gotta go. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. Yeah, that's brutal. Oppressive. I've done nothing wrong, but look different. You know it's not right. Look, you were unglamored three days ago, and you're still unglamored now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Even under the best of circumstances. Best I can do. What a crook of shit government by the fables for the fables my ass bluebeard you want to talk now's your chance i've just made my donation funding this office so direct your questions to miss white well at least he's not trying to get rid of me he's not for now did you take care of toad i mean i saw the way he left I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Okay. Good. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know anything I catch yet. the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. Might not be good. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. She can tell, huh? What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. 
looked at Letty Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, Weird. let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. Door. It moves. What I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that it not be an option. Run high, and you have your reasons. Yeah, there's no guarantees. A certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. We'll Show do our them best, but things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Off we go. It's a long chapter. It's still going. Time to fuck around, just go. Tim, what the, the hell, hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? Yeah, that's you a knew strange. I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way, Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. So it's all the mystery. How come we don't know who he is? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Seems unlikely. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I got to go in with you. Thanks. 
It's not like anybody's going anywhere else. We can take our time. Stop laughing at me. Tell me who the fuck is back there. I I don't Sounds exactly like the know. I just mind the door. You need me worry. Boss is there. He'll come around. I know that much. I like cream before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes on. He's right. He was fine with Crane to smoothen things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to do. Clearly they're talking about Big B. Let's slip the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. I like to think a little bigger than that. You're not frightened, are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out we on you. We will tame the rope, and like Crane, you will eventually be of more use to us alive. Well, I don't like it. It's not for you to like. So, he doesn't want us Excuse dead. me, but I have a job to do. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. So we finally see, meet, huh? Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. be the end of the chapter. Yeah. All right. What's coming up in the final part? I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. Is coming. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh, well. <gasps> okay, so we're going to have a big fight with her. All right, so... All right, nobody else sent him to the... Well, almost nobody else sent Colin to the farm. Good to know. Um, all right, so it's a little... little Wrong. I'm just trying to remove the ribbon. Everybody else went to Lucky Pond first? Okay. And most people did not send him to the farm. Okay, well, apparently I didn't make very common choices this time, but uh, we'll see how that pans out in the, the final episode and how the story finally wraps up. So, if you're enjoying this, go ahead and give this a thumbs up so other people can find the video, and subscribe and click the bell next to that so you get notifications on when the uh, final episodes come out. So I'm going to try to split that into two as well. And I will see you there. Later.